so if you have a YouTube channel, there's these things called analytics, which help you kind of just see like who's watching what, what portions of video they're watching, where are they watching from. It just kind of helps you to hone in on what exactly you're doing a little bit. Um, but also it shows you, <laughs> this is so great. We've made 23 cents, 23 cents on YouTube. We're killing it. This is, I mean, we retire now, I think. I don't know. Who knows where this is going? What are we talking about? Tell them what we're doing. We are, we have a business meeting at 11, so we have to prepare for that. So we're preparing for that. We spend it really. Oh, it fell. So we just pulled up to the office and. Bye. Second client in two days. Let's go. go. Yeah. I think it should go really well, but here's hoping. Let's go. I think. I think that went pretty well. I think, I think that went really well. well. We got some more information on some stuff of just how to kind of market something. But I think overall we have a good idea of what we're doing. I think it should go fun. I think I'm excited to do this video. It should be fun. It'll be fun to actually work on a big project. <laughs> So we told you yesterday we made a pitch to the high school students about them kind of shooting their own video stuff and then we editing it together. Didn't know if they were gonna take up on it or do it at all. Um, Cause we were walking around, they didn't start shooting, but we just figured out that they are. That's all the stuff that we've got from them as of the first day. It's super fun. This is gonna be so much fun to edit all this together. It's so great. If any of you guys are watching, thanks so much. You guys keep posting stuff of your, whatever you guys are doing. So. More than anything right now, I want to not go running. But I have somehow tricked myself into getting my shoes on and coming outside and stretching, so I am gonna go running now. So that's the only way I can get myself to work out is if I kind of like, just put your shoes on. Well, no, just go outside, just go stretch. And then it's like, well, I may as well now. Not a great runner, but uh, you know, gotta get that beach bad, you know, for summer, trying to get in shape. Me and John are working at Starbucks together. Exciting stuff. I have to sign up for classes for next semester. Haven't done that yet. Everyone else has. But I got a little iced coffee, so everything's great. So, this is usually the part of the night we're filming reflections or sitting somewhere, but not right now. We've been, yeah, we've been questioning some things, thinking th think some things through, so we'll be talking about that. Oh. But, yeah, so things might be changing up a little bit. Interesting. Hopefully. For the better. So, when it's a late night and you've still got a bunch of stuff to do, you get everyone in the car, yeah, and you go to Taco Bell, because it's the sensible thing to do. Yeah, we got a Taco Bell. Any thoughts, John? It's, it's the fuel that keeps champions running, really. It's, it's like Wheaties. Mercy King. Heart of the Champion. That was my favorite book. Heart of the Champion. It's a great book. Sponsored by Taco Bell, pretty good. It's exciting. It's gonna be a long night. So, we keep talking about how we don't really know what we're doing with this. And honestly, so much that it's probably annoying some of you guys. But as this month progresses, we keep snagging on to these little nuggets of clarity ever so often. And we figure. If we're going to go ahead and share so much of our doubts and concerns, it's probably only fair that we also share the conclusions that come from those. The one thing that has been overwhelmingly clear since day one is the sense of support and community that we've received from all of you guys while watching this. So when we first started this almost a week ago, I wrote down on a piece of paper to try to explain a little better, and I wrote, two brothers start a business. And we've come to realize that there's a stark contrast between that statement and the statement, a business is started by two brothers. What we mean by this is maybe the most important part isn't the business. Maybe at its core, it's about two people just trying to take on something that feels bigger than themselves. Both of us have very real concerns and fears and worries about coming up short or not being good enough. And the odd thing is it's, it's in these moments that we share these things that we get the most feedback. Every day we have people reaching out to us, giving us encouragement. And the more we think about it, the less we feel like it's about the business. As humans, many of us have this innate fear of stepping out, of entering the unknown. And, and the sad thing is a lot of us spend our lives living in these places of dreaming big and acting small. And, and somehow I feel like we've struck a chord with people by, by trying to step out and act out our dreams. So we want to continue being honest 
and as we do so, we'd like to start a conversation. As we share our hearts and our concerns with you guys, we would love to hear yours. And whether that be dreams, fears, whatever, we want to hear it. So just below this video, you can leave a comment, and if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment or you can't seem to do it, we've set up an email address in which you can reach us at, um, which is on the screen and will also be in the link below. Now, this doesn't mean anything's changing as far as the business goes. If anything, we're going to be working harder than ever. We just really felt like we needed to take a step back and readjust our approach a little bit. Thank you so much to all of you that have reached out to us, and we look forward to hearing from even more of you guys in the future. We gotta stop doing this so late at night. Seriously. So, it's too late. thoughts, reflections on the day? Thoughts, reflections on the day. Today, for me, was really productive. I got a lot of stuff done, both for college stuff that I had to get done, but also just kind of talking about the business yeah we had um i think there's been a lot of stuff that we just kind of been you mean i mean you and me have been both been doing and not really talking to each other about and so just kind of good to just sit down and talk about kind of our hopes and what we're looking for in this whole process the video company um it was really good to sit down and just kind of talk out what we were thinking and yeah, I think that was really I, I thought that was healthy and really good for me because now I kind of feel repurposed and yeah, I don't know, give more energy to keep doing this stuff. No, I mean I think the hard thing is, like ideally this would be a fifty percent, like a fifty fifty give and take of like you do something, I do something. Um, but the hard thing is you're when you leave in a month, I I'm still here in Indiana yeah. doing this, which is definitely and hard. so there's some things where it's like. I do have to be doing a little bit more of the work because I need to make sure that I can run it by myself after you leave. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think that's hard work. Um, and, I, and I have like a little bit more video experience and so I think that dynamic has been difficult for us to figure out all the time. But we had our HR representative, John. John Crawford. You know, John's super good about it. We're just kind of, I don't want to say like mediating because it's not like we're arguing, but I think it's it's having John there to kind of sit John's great at conversations. If you know John, you know what I'm talking about. If not, get to know him. Get to know John. But um, we have our little yeah. differences, though, and those were the. I mean, I don't think we did a good job yeah. of like talking exactly out like how we were. I mean, I don't do a really good job of talking out exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. So John did a really good job <laughs> of talking with me and then processing how we talk, go about it, and like. So we had yeah. a really good conversation, just all three of us, just kind of what this looks like long term, or even just like for today, even. Um, yeah, I think just trying to get to a point where we're both able to kind of be dreaming and envisioning what this can look like without feeling yeah. like we're messing something up or um but I think that's the hard thing is like it's with vlogging it's not like ooh we're arguing get the camera yeah. out it's <laughs> it's like it's always easier to get the camera out when it's like let's go play in the yard yeah. and like it's, it's everyone's smiling we have videotaped um, the shiny moments yeah. of our lives yeah so I think I've been and it's something else has been I feel like kind of re-energized when I mean, our just kind of stepping a little bit away from the business, um, like I think we're planning on doing. It's just, I think a lot of it yesterday was stuff was um, very business oriented, and I don't know. I didn't, I didn't enjoy yesterday's stuff as much as yeah. kind of today. Well, when you say stepping away from the, that doesn't mean like we won't be doing as much. No, but sorry, I think yeah. Realizing that it's okay for the video blog to be maybe more about us making the business than the business happening. Yes. Yeah. Because some of it is the reality. If you really wanted to, you could you could legally start a business in like two days. So for us to say like it's we're gonna take right. a month to start a business, we really mean like okay, we're gonna get everything registered and licensed and figured out, but also we're gonna run it. Like we're gonna, mm. and I think we're realizing the more we do this, the yeah, it's and kind of we already said this, I guess, but it's about like, um, I think the whole purpose of us doing this at all, I think was almost for us to make like, we realized we were going to have a month to hang out before you left for Colorado. And this is kind of the last time we'll ever live at home together. And it was like, yeah. how can we get the most out of this month? <laughs> you guys don't know this, but this whole idea originally started out as it wasn't, it didn't actually start out as me being like, we should start a business. It started out with me walking up to Craig and saying, do you think we could make $15,000 <laughs> this month? In one month. And cool, thankfully man. we have, a really great dad who was like maybe don't try that not because <laughs> we shouldn't dream big 
but because we would have hated ourselves. Mm. It would have been like, I mean, yeah, in 30 days, we would have made like five, we would have had to try to make like 500 bucks a day. That's crazy. And on top of that, make videos. It, it was Nonsense. one of those things on paper that sounded great and wasn't. Um, but this has been much better. Yes. Um, absolutely. So, yeah, I think it it is, I will say, exciting to, to I think, be getting a little more of a handle on maybe what this is going to look like. Because I feel like maybe a little bit yesterday, like, there was some fun stuff that happened yesterday yeah. with, like, going on pitches and things like that. But I feel like yesterday we kind of, it was kind of like, well, let's just get a video out there and hope we'll, like, because it yeah. just wasn't, it just kind of was like, well, what are we doing? Um, yeah. I think we didn't, we didn't have the set. I, I think I usually enjoy putting out videos and we like putting out content and stuff like that. And it started turning into more like, yeah, we just need to kind of get something out there. We need to get content up. And now... I think we're kind of turning that on its head and starting to go in the right direction. So we should probably we're, we're trying to keep these smaller because we these videos are getting obnoxiously long. Very long. Um, favorite part of the day. Favorite part of the day was sitting outside having a conversation with you and John and just clearing yeah. everything out and making sure we knew what we were doing. What about you? I don't know. Probably ever going to get Taco Bell. That was nice. It was good. Which probably completely feeling. canceled out my run, which is. <laughs> Yeah, but that's fine. Now, if you're even right there, you're great. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. But that was fun. It's always fun to, like, get everyone together and do stuff. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, bedtime. Sign out. High five. You you missed. Oh, we do we do the bed. Oh, we're going to bed. That's the bedtime. I'm going to bed. I might just actually stay here. That seems like a bad idea. This isn't even my bed. Get out of here.